For the next stop on our tour, we're going to take a quick ride over to a nearby neighborhood that's just north of Little Italy. Wedged in between the East Village and Little Italy is the neighborhood of Nolita. Long before this was a trendy neighborhood filled with tiny boutique shops, restaurants, and cafes, and given its name, which stands for North of Little Italy, this was just another part of the Lower East Side, filled with thousands of Italian immigrants fleeing Italy for a shot at a better life amongst the tenements and bustling streets of the Lower East Side. As we mentioned earlier, the history of the five families of New York, the Genovese's, the Gambinos, the Lucchese's, the Bananos, and the Colombos, date back to the end of the Castello Marese War in 1930 and 31. Charles Lucky Luciano, seeing a better, more prosperous future for organized crime, planned the assassination of the two reigning godfathers in New York City, Salvatore Maranzano and Joe the Boss Masseria. And immediately, he divided up the remaining factions into New York's five mafia families. The building here at 8 Prince Street was once the headquarters of Giuseppe Morello and the Morello crime family. Long before the five families we know today, the Italian underworld in New York City was run by warring gangs from Naples and Sicily. The Naples gang was called the Camorra, which still operate in the Naples area today. And the Sicilian gangs were known as the Mafia. Morello came to New York in 1892 from the Sicilian town of Corleone. Doesn't that name sound familiar? and he settled in East Harlem. He started what became known as the 107th Street Mob, where a young Charles Luciano began his criminal career. In 1902, Morello acquired a saloon located here at Prince Street and used it as his headquarters. And it is from here that Morello, by 1905, had built the largest Italian mafia family in the United States, employing several enforcers whose sole job was to kill anyone who Morello wanted eliminated. On one occasion, in 1903, Benedetto Madonia, one of Morello's associates, was stabbed to death, stuffed into a barrel, and unceremoniously dumped on East 11th Street as a gangland message. It is from within the Morello family that Joe the Boss Masseria rose to power and took over as boss of the family, which ultimately led to the Castello Marese War between him and Salvatore Maranzano, and the creation of the five families we have today. Next week, we're going to head down to the Lower East Side to what used to be the headquarters of Meyer Lansky. And today is one of the coolest bars in New York City, known as the Back Rooms.